but you know, we'll just, I figure we'll just work on about midnight tonight and get most of it done. Like we'll order pizza for lunch, pizza for dinner, pizza for breakfast. Well, let's get Chinese food for dinner. That's a good idea. Chinese food is a good idea for dinner. And it is! Hooray! All right. You need smoke break. Yeah, you, know, you missed it last night, Billy Ray. In the show, they made me a she-male. Did they? Yes. It, it made me lose my composure right there in the middle of a scene. I just started giggling quietly to myself, whereupon Daniel Martin walked up behind me and said, Are you cold? You're shivering. And he put his hands gently on my shoulders. That broke me. I was done for after that. One of these days, each and every one of us is going to need a Coca-Cola. You have a slight resemblance to Mr. John Smoltz. I'm unfamiliar with this Smoltz of whom you speak. So that, that, you, you, that's, that's okay with you then? I have no idea who this person is. I just don't put it on the road. That's true. Good job. That's exactly where I want to put that charm. Nice. Is this your idea of work? It is. I'm having Walking around with your little phone. Little megaphone. I'm being the moral support. And I'm about to order food, so that it will be the food order. It's nice. I like it. And for those not operating power tools, oh. beer. Man. That would not be a good idea, Charlotte. That would not be a good idea. Um, hmm, it seems we need an area for clocks. Yeah. <laughs> it seems we need an area for clocks. You see? That one doesn't work. Well, it doesn't matter. It's still I bet that one might work if it had batteries. This one? Uh huh. So do you, hey, why don't we just like put it in the green room? I know, if we only had a battery. I can find a double A battery pretty easily these days. I would hope. They're available in all, in all the modern stores. Not appreciated, Charlie. <laughs> Sarcasm is not appreciated. Every single thing you say. I agree. You can get as much of that as you can carry. Okay, these bags here? Yes, they are. I guess I do need to pick a station and actually do some work. Seven needs to screw I don't get angry at the bills I have to pay. I don't get angry when my mom smokes pot. It's the bottom of the rock. The locker's next to the Put your ones, the, uh, the cheap ones, uh -huh. garbage. Okay. The cheap ones, yeah. What do you want to do? Um, they need to go back. They can go back here. Actually, let me come back here with you. Okay. Would, would the, I don't know, would these spark speakers serve any good whatsoever? It's possible. What brand? Iowa? No. Yeah, I mean. They're shit. Yeah, no, let's, let's ditch them. Look, it's a little kit. It's a little bow and arrow kit. No, no, they sent me those by mistake. I thought it was odd that they were so cheap. It's all good. How do you work this damn thing? I don't know, but Fear Downtown. Cable Fear, over there. Fear Downtown the elevators have a nice control. Uh-huh. Yeah. And you pull it one way Ouch. until it stops. <laughs> Space, all we're doing space right here is what we're dealing with. Okay. That's going to eventually be closed up, but that's not up to date or anything. All right. So whenever we can do it. Quick, so I'm going to close up. Oh, you grab me. I'm going to close up. Oh, you want to close up? Yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah.
Because an ant's going to help keep the sawdust from getting in the back areas. We don't need oh, this we don't need an intro back there. Right, you're right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You go in that way. Sounds like a plan. <laughs> How are you? I'm doing okay. How about you? I've been waking on the railroad all, all the little long days. We keep that. That's for windows and such. So where would that go though? Actually, it's for plants, but we use it for windows. You should put that in the costing room. Wow. Yeah, because that that will I bet that will work great for. That was our twelve angry men. Oh. Yeah. It's funny how you, I remember what everything went to. <laughs> of course. What's that? Uh, does it say Cochrane on the side of it? Yeah. I think Michael Wilson has it. That'd be great. It's not. I mean, like certain. Go kick his ass. After a hard day of construction. Nothing beats a delicious Diet Coke. <sighs> now that's refreshing. No beer with power tools, seriously. Billy Ray, are we bringing this to the area of... Ooh. Um, yeah, bring it to the area of the area. Michael, can I borrow that drip, drip for one second? Oh, awesome. That was smart. You bring it to that here. Michael, Michael being proactive and thinking ahead. Make sure it works before you go. Oh, oh, oh Debbie, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I offer no promises that anyone's safe. Aha. Uh -huh. Don't you love when Drew just stops and starts taping you? Yes. <laughs> Thank you so much. No problem. We go in this direction. Might as well. You just crushed that beautiful piece of blue on. What will we do without it, Charla? No. Come with me to a land where we're joining platforms again. Kevin? Behold, the workshop that will become the new seating space. The seating space, it was the performance space. It's going to be the new performance space. Multi-purpose room. Multi-purpose room. used to that noise. Never really. Is it snowing? No, it's sawdust. Sawdust of triumph. This is the precision Force union rules until Billy Ray pays us union scale, and that ain't happening. Uh, he's got a long 
He did say he'd add another zero in the check. <laughs> The trick is, you have to put the dollar in the slot in order to get a drink. Like this. Wait. Then you choose the drink that you'd like. Mine's Coke. In. I, I have to think this is Doug's fault. Billy really Ray's fault for changing the design halfway through. I'd belch in your face. Oh, brilliant. Ugh. Yes, it's the naval cam. Jonathan, will you line us up on the uh, chalk line? So that is, uh... Oh, yeah. Number three! Number three. That level in. Kevin, you want me to put weight on this yet? Yes, please. Here I come. Okay, whenever you're ready. I'm you are a brave woman, Charles. And I'm here just in case. I'll just hold it. There you go. That'll be my safety be, net. You'll be like that crazy <laughs> blue commercial. Uh oh. That's Boy. not a good thing to hear. Run out of juice. 
this is nice, but it's not imperative, so. <laughs> Did we use petrified wood for part of this? <laughs> Yes, but do not tell the National Forestry Service. Uh, yes. You know, the temporary is still on. Do you want it on? Let me get this one in first. Or is it taken up? It's, it's right on the floor. I don't think it's lifting it up any, so it'll be a okay. Right. Um, are you ready for my weight? Uh, I think we'll actually be okay.
I guess, like you said, we can probably do the ones that need to be, and then yeah. start on the. As much as I hate to say, start on the bottom row. Blue shit. Is that actually what it's called? When your when your theater is sticky, and you need to get it unstuck, there's only one thing in the world that will do the job. This year, blue shit. It's called Zep. And it apparently has so much power, it can even pick up Coca-Cola that has sat around for months. Uh, we sprayed this area down earlier, and these are ordinary, cheap-ass paper towels. We're going to show you how well it cuts the stickiness of the cola. Are you ready for this? <laughs> Look at that! Look at that! The, the blue shit takes this crap right off of the riser. Just Where? like that. And it doesn't even tear up even the cheapest paper towel. Well, yeah, you know, let's just spray blue shit on all these things. Look how new it looks already. Hell yeah, we don't Look at that. This crap. A minute, we should have gotten a before shot when it was still sticky, but trust me, this was terrible. And now, it's, look at that, I can even touch, I will touch it. That's eat how clean it. it is. I will not it? eat off it. <laughs> but how much does it cost, Doug? It's free, because we already own it. <laughs> That's blue shit by Zep. Pick some up today. Let's try it on that tape gun. You know, it's a damn fine plan, <laughs> Douglas. Let's try it on the tape gun. The pre-turpentine, ooh, let's hope this doesn't cause some type of ooh, chemical reaction with the I was gonna say oh ungodly God. nature of creation. Ratings for Damn, damn good way of finding them. Yep. Yeah. He'll jump in with both feet. Yeah, exactly. That's the way I always test the water. Screw sticking a toe and just go in and pray you don't die. Yeah, Alright, I've wafted. It. It's fine. Okay. If it right, feels we'll over give it a moment safe. to sit. Oh, God, I stuck to this part. <laughs> That's how terrible it is. It's, and there's your before shot. Alright, there's the before. So, uh, we're gonna let the blue shit sit. <laughs> While we're letting it sit, let me tell you a story. When I was just a kid, my grandpa once took me fishing. And he looked down at me as we sat in the boat together and he said, Boy, I'm going to tell you something about life. And that is, sometimes life gets sticky. It'll stick to the floor, it'll stick to the wall, it'll stick to the bottom of your shoe. But there's one thing you can always do. Take your shoes off. Okay, now let's see how this bullshit did. <laughs> Blue shit. <laughs> Sadly, my grandfather didn't le live to see the era of blue shit. Oh. Uh. <laughs> and son of a bee. Is it actually working? Is it doing? Somewhat. Is there it oh! <laughs> has, it has created a new form of matter that is somewhat paste like. <laughs> Wait, well, where's the uh, getting scalpel or the whatever we have? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that, oh my god. Hey, Dr. Redwine, yeah, how do you titillate an ocelot? You oscillate his titillot. <laughs> <laughs>